Hi everybody, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. Well, we're gonna do that ghost trend all over TikTok. If you don't have TikTok, you might be seeing this for the first time. It's where you take a thrifted picture and add Halloween items or ghosts. So I added the crows, the lights, the pumpkins, a few ghosts. I added the sky because it was like a really light blue sky so I had to cover a lot of it. So that was my first attempt which I did off camera. Now I'm going to share with you my second attempt at the ghost trend and this is the picture I got from Goodwill and this I fell in love with the frame and the picture. I love this little scene. I love the autumn colors in it. I thought it would make a perfect ghost picture. So all you have to do is find your favorite picture at the thrift store and paint ghosts. You can add other details as well, but um, the ghost trend is, of course, painting ghosts. So what I have found, I did a practice one as I showed you at the beginning of this video, and that was good to like practice. So if you want to practice on a piece of paper or another picture that you don't care if it gets a little ruined, you know, practice though, because you want these ghosts at first to be a real thin white layer. And what I did, because I had like a ocean kind of autumn ocean, <laughs> I guess you would call it, I thought it would be cute to put ghosts coming in from the water. That's why some of my ghosts are different sizes. I wanted it to look like they were coming in from the water. So layering is the key here. Start off with just that thin layer. Once it dries, then you can come in and you can add another thin layer. You can add some black and white mixed together and add, um, I went shadows, <laughs> I went blank. Um, but. Don't go heavy handed at first. You want ghosts to be translucent, not so bright, um, unless that's what you're going for. If that's what you're going for, then really make those ghosts white and don't add anything else to them. But I see this on TikTok so much. People are so into Halloween this year, which I absolutely love because it's one of my favorite holidays. And I love doing Halloween DIYs. So this is such an easy, you don't have to have any artistic ability whatsoever. I love that this picture had the birds, but I wanted them to be more for Halloween. So I just took a really thin paintbrush and where the birds were brown, I added black. At first, my idea was to make these birds totally black, but that probably wouldn't have looked right because of the shape of them. And I liked the white highlight. So actually I kept that white highlight and I just accented anything that was brown on the birds in black. I also drew a couple birds of my own and this is just having fun. This just have fun with it. If you love pumpkins, put a bunch of pumpkins on your picture. If you love ghosts, put ghosts of course on your picture. It's so much fun to take these pictures um, that may have just been discarded and actually do a fun little picture for Halloween on them and put it with your decor. Now, like I said, I added a few more birds to the sky in black. I kept the ones that were already there um, with the white highlights. Now I'm just gonna come in with gray. You can take black and make your own color gray, but I'm gonna really lightly put some gray on these ghosts and just kind of make that shadow so it's not just all white. You want a little texture, a little shadow. I added some gray to the birds as well. And to tell you the truth, this was so relaxing. Oh my gosh. It was just, I could have probably, it's easy to get carried away. Let me just say that. Because you can just keep putting ghosts and ghosts and ghosts because they're so stinking cute. So the shadowing, you do it how 
however you want your ghost to turn out. Some people I've even seen come in with just straight black and kind of highlight around the edges. Um, you make this your own, like however you want your ghost to look. If you put too much gray, then come back over it with white. It's all about layering. You keep layering and layering until your little ghosts are perfect and just the way you want them. This picture I think is so unique because I was able to put all of them different sizes and I think that's just a cool little aspect of them coming out of the water and onto land. Um, so if you want to look for one of these pictures that has water, um, I have seen so many. If you have Instagram or TikTok, just look up ghost trend if you haven't seen it already. And you would be amazed at some of the pictures that people do. They're gorgeous. So now I'm just dipping my skinny paintbrush in black and we're going to give these cute little ghosties some eyes. And you can even place the eyes close together, further apart, bigger, smaller. You make your ghost your own. Do whatever your little heart desires with them. Some of the eyes, I actually took a white paint brush and dabbed just a little dot of white into the black. Now I am going to come in with these autumn colors and I'm going to highlight the greenery that's already there. I want this to look more with those pretty vibrant autumn colors. I want to add pumpkins in a couple places. So you're just going to see me come in and do a shape of a pumpkin, add a little stem. I do come in and highlight on my pumpkins as well so that it creates those lines that you see on pumpkins. And I'm just having fun. I'm coming in, I'm adding just a little bit of color, little red to this, cause it's a lot of beige and brown and dark brown. So I thought some red would be really cute in these, um, I don't know what you'd even call them, I guess they're just bushes, but just adding autumn colors to my picture and more pumpkins because you got to have pumpkins. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Have you guys tried this already? Hey, have you done multiple pictures? Um, my best friend is like obsessed with ghost painting. She absolutely is having so much fun with it. And she just went to the thrift store and bought like four or five different pictures to do. And that's how addictive it is. It really is so much fun. I thought we needed one more ghost, so I kind of painted a ghost coming off the side of the lighthouse, and I'm going to add a lantern to this ghost. He's going to hold a little lantern. Don't be afraid of making lanterns for these guys to hold, and when you draw the lantern, you can come out with your white, and it makes it look like his little arm is holding it. It's so stinking cute, oh my gosh. So for the lantern, I just went super easy and I drew one line going across on the top, one line going across on the bottom, two lines going across in the center, and then I did a little circle hanger at the top and I did add a little light inside the lantern. And then I just extended his arm out so it looks like he's holding it. So cute. If you want, you can come in with your gray. You can add shadow to that arm as well. So I thought this needed a crow perched on top of the lighthouse. So that's what I'm doing right now. And crows are not difficult to do. Just draw a circle with your paintbrush, come around and make that body, and then add a little beak and feet so easy. I love the way that first lantern turned out. So of course I had to do another one on a bigger scale. And again, I'm doing it the same way. Two um, lines across, two lines up and down, do a little circle for the handle. You can add a candle or a light inside. I did a little shadowing on it with the gray and then I extended the ghost arm out so he could hold his lantern. I 
I think this little picture turned out so cute. It was so much fun. I can't wait to go get another one. And here are both of my pictures together. Totally different. Here's more like an autumn scene with ghosts. Here's more of a scary storm coming over a farm. Um, that just shows you like how much a different imagination you can use for these. So at the same thrift store, I came across these boxwood houses. And I thought, well, you don't have to just paint ghosts on thrifted pictures. These would be perfect for to paint ghosts on. And all I had to do with these is I wanted the uh, peach roof and the blue roof to be black. So I just came in with my black paint and I painted over both of the roofs to make them look more for Halloween than spring. I wanted the edge of the roof to look more scalloped, so I came in and dipped this little dabber brush. I'm not really sure what this is. I picked it up recently, and I thought that would make the perfect little scallops for the roof, just to add extra detail. I did this on both of the houses. Now it's time to add the ghosts. Again, I did it the same way, starting off kind of really light because I knew I could come back in and just layer if I wanted to. And I just wanted to add some cute little ghosts to the windows of this house. And oh my gosh, so much fun to have this decor out for Halloween, especially since you've painted it yourself. That just adds that personal effect to it. So I just came in and I added my cute little ghosts inside the windows of the tall house. After I had them exactly how I wanted them, I came in with my skinny paintbrush, dipped it in black, and I gave all these cute little ghosts eyes. This is so cute, and look at you really didn't have to change this house that much to make it adorable decor for Halloween. Now for the small house, I came in and I painted a ghost in the doorway, and then I put little baby ghosts in each window, just the bottom parts of the window. I wanted it to look like a mom standing in the door and her children looking out the window. For this one, I came in and added pumpkins as well along the bottom edge of this house, and I gave them jack-o'-lantern faces.
I didn't glue the houses together. I just set them next to each other. And oh my gosh, look at how cute that is for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to show you the ghost trend because it's so much fun. But I also wanted to show you you don't need to find pictures at a thrift store to have fun with this ghost trend as well because these boxwood houses came out adorable. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite part was and I'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful week.